Good morning, you guys. I look nuts. Um, I wanted this day to be the start of my routine, getting my shit together vlog, but I woke up, I said no, and I went back to bed. So let's try again tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good morning, guys. Good morning, take two. It's Wednesday. I have successfully woken up and made it outside for a walk. And in today's vlog, we are gonna be talking about so many fun and exciting things, starting with, am I getting a puppy? And let's just not even clickbait, and I think you guys already know, the answer is yes, I am getting a puppy. So that is the reason that I am outside. Um, I am trying to get into the new schedule that I'll be living with my dog, which is like waking up early, letting her out, all of that stuff. So today's video, we're gonna be talking about my new dog. We are going to be talking about my new routine, things I've been doing to make me feel good, few life updates and all of that. Make sure you're subscribed and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. It helps the algorithm, supports my channel, makes me happy. I can't walk and vlog, it's so hard. All right, let's go to the park and we'll talk there. So you guys, I have so many life updates, but obviously the title of this video and the most exciting one is that I am getting a puppy. This is something I've wanted for so long, something that has been in the works for so long and I haven't been able to talk about. Um, but yeah, I'm getting a puppy. I figured now is the time because we're home. Um, so it's a perfect time to train them. And I also just had some family members move into my area in Montreal. So if I do need to travel or if I do need to like leave for a day, they said they can look after her so all of the pieces came into place I know people are gonna have like a lot of questions and a lot of like concerns as everyone does um, with animals but I just want to say this is not a decision I took lightly obviously it is a huge commitment for many 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 years um, financially time just everything but it's something I've dreamed about since I was a little kid was living in my own apartment having my own dog and the time is finally here so I am so excited I am getting her in one and a half weeks like I just can't wait I'm getting her at the end of January so I would love for you guys to guess down below what breed do you think I'm getting and what do you think her name is going to be and we'll see if anyone can guess so I the reason I'm outside I've been trying for two reasons to just get into a healthier routine um, physically mentally all of that the first reason is I know that my life is going to change once my puppy arrives we are going to be waking up early we're gonna be going out for the peas we are gonna be walking so I wanted to start getting my body ready for that because <laughs> I've just been like sleeping rolling over and starting work pretty much most days which is not healthy in the slightest so I wanted to start getting ready now now so that's not a total shock on my body but the other thing that's happening is I am feeling so much better physically so much better mentally I think that's the biggest change I've seen I started a 30-day morning yoga challenge so we're gonna go home and do that after but I'm just really challenging myself to take multiple walks per day like actually leave the house and wake up earlier and not just like start my day with work but start my day with something nice like today like a walk um, yoga all of that so obviously <laughs> okay, I'm like my life has changed but it's only been three days um, but anyway so from today from here we're gonna go home and do yoga and start the work day so let's go do that and then I will catch up with you guys tell you all about my dog um, and some other life updates quick side note I am still in Ottawa um, lockdown restrictions are getting worse like they're getting tighter and i'm currently in the park i thought this was a fun fact i'm currently in the park that i had my first kiss in somerset park if any of you guys are from ottawa that is where i am and that is where i had my first kiss okay Mystery. I don't think I ever wanna go come closer next. okay back home it is yoga time now i've started a 30 day morning yoga challenge with yoga with cassandra i love her videos so much 
she really focuses on like stretching which I really like every time I do it I feel my body like get into alignment a little bit of cracks get crinkled out it's it's so nice so I'll link her videos down below yesterday was my favorite one so far out of two okay but I'll link yesterday's video because I loved it so much today I'm on day three so it's 10 minutes every day of yoga and I am committing to do the 30 days because it's only 10 minutes like I think you know we all have time for that so i'm very excited it's been fun so far and i'm excited to do the yoga this morning let's get into it fall apart if that feels like it's too much and too intense first thing in the morning you're also welcome to just keep your so these morning yoga practices are really also about empowering you to lean into whatever feels good hey we are all set i tried to film it but my room at my mom's house is so tiny that like all you could see was my leg. It was pretty useless. So after the 10 minute yoga, I do a five minute meditation. I'm doing the same one every day. It's like the accompanying meditation for the challenge. So it has some affirmations in it. It's really beautiful. Um, so that's my 15 minute yoga routine in the morning and I'm gonna be doing this for 30 days. So I'll keep you guys posted on how I like it. So I will link uh, Yoga with Cassandra down below if you wanna join me in doing this challenge and I'll link the meditation as well if you wanna give it a try. But I am so hungry. So I need to make breakfast and start my work day. I don't think I ever want to go come closer next to me. Trying to find another way to say this, but I think, I think we were meant to be. Okay, so I made breakfast. I just made avocado toast with sun-dried tomatoes and a little bit of olive oil on top. I'm so hungry. That walk and the yoga just like made me so, so hungry. But I have a really busy day at work today. I don't have any meetings. It's just a lot of like individual work that needs to get done for the end of the week. And I'm actually helping out on four different projects right now. So I have my two main ones and two additional ones that, yeah, everything's pretty much due Friday. So I'm like, okay, we gotta put our head down and get started and I have a meeting at 6 p.m. today so it's gonna be a very long day but I really feel like that morning routine helps me to not get too overwhelmed because I just start the day on a really positive note and I just tell myself you know stay calm and you can handle anything so let's get to work now and I will catch up with you guys later Okay, I'm filming the life updates from here, so we're going forwards, backwards, and then in time. But I want to talk a little bit about why I decided to get a dog um, and how I went about getting one. I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, you should have adopted a dog. Um, that just wasn't possible. I tried for many months to foster an, uh, like a rescue dog or to adopt um, a rescue dog. And because I live in an apartment, it's really, really difficult. All of the dogs that are currently in shelters like the small dogs are getting taken right away because obviously everybody wants a dog right now because of covid um so the only dogs left were big ones and i live in an apartment so i got rejected from every single dog i applied to so that was a very like hard and stressful process i didn't even talk about it on camera because i just didn't want like to jinx anything but yeah i decided last spring and i started applying for foster dogs and for rescue dogs last spring kept on getting rejected so i said okay you know if i if this is what i want it looks like i'm gonna have to go through a breeder and in canada we don't have the same problem at the same scale as the united states does with like puppy mills and stuff it's really not at the same level here so like it's funny because in the u.s like i see youtubers and they call breeders ethical breeders like here we just call them breeders because they're pretty much all ethical like obviously there's a few scammers you know everywhere but it's not at the same scale as like the puppy mills in the united states so i've been following the dog's journey since she was born i know that she has been raised with so much love so much care and i am excited to just continue raising her in that same way she is the most beautiful dog like I cannot wait to take pictures with her and film her because like I just think it'll bring you guys joy at least I hope um, so yeah so that was like the original process I had to fill out so many applications it was so stressful so anxiety inducing I even gave a deposit to a different breeder who ended up kind of scamming me 
I, it was just like the entire process was not fun and not pleasant so I mean it definitely weeds you out of like is this something I actually want um, the process definitely ensures that it is so Obviously, I think the number one reason for me choosing to get a dog sooner is the fact that I've realized that my work life is changing. Um, there's a garbage truck, we'll talk in a sec. Okay, that garbage truck really took forever to leave. Um, <clears throat> so basically, um, what I was talking about was my... It's still around the corner. So basically the timer for when I wanted to get a dog pretty much started ticking as soon as I moved out of my like university life and into my full-time work life. My family was like, okay, when are you getting a dog? But because of my work as a management consultant, I didn't think it was possible. I was expecting to be traveling, you know, Monday to Thursday, all of that. And so I was like, I can't get a dog if I'm traveling that much. But I very quickly learned that that was not the lifestyle I wanted at all. I did not want to be traveling. Are you kidding me? I quickly learned that I did not want to be traveling that much. Um, I did not want that like always out of the house lifestyle. And now with my current job, even, you know, COVID aside, it is a more work from home, less travel job. So as soon as I learned that, I was like, oh, I can get a dog. Like this has always, always, always been a dream of mine. So I'm so happy. Obviously I'm very nervous. I am not you know, having too many, too much rose colored glasses about the realities of having a dog. I know it's a lot of work. I know I'm not gonna be sleeping a lot. I like, I know all of that. But overall, I'm just so excited to have a best friend, a companion and someone to give my love to because times have been really tough lately. I've been very sad and lonely as you guys know. And I just know that although it's gonna be a challenge, I know that she is gonna make my life so much better and i'm just so excited for that and for you guys to come along on the journey of raising her and just seeing how my life changes with her and don't worry i am not gonna spam you guys with too much dog content for those of you who don't want it i'm thinking i'm gonna make a separate channel for her because i just love filming stuff like that is my creative outlet and i think i'm gonna love filming her and taking videos of her like at the park and stuff so um, I'll link her channel down below if you guys want to subscribe, but she'll just be integrated into my vlogs here. It's not going to like totally take over. So I think that's everything I want to say on the topic of the dog for now. If you have questions, leave them down below. Basically, I just hope you guys will be happy for me. I was a little bit nervous to announce this because I've seen a lot of YouTubers get hated on for not rescuing a dog. Um, but like I said, I really tried. Um, that was always what I thought I was gonna do. I never thought I would go through a breeder, um, but it just wasn't the reality. And I think everything happens as it's meant to happen. So I hope you guys will be happy and excited for me. And yeah, let's just get on with the rest of the video now. I just heated up some tomato soup for lunch. It's so good. It's from this place called The Red Apron. They do like pre-cooked meals and stuff. So good. Um, if anyone's in Ottawa and interested in some tomato soup. <laughs> Um, but I'm just gonna take a quick lunch break, try and keep it down to like 30 minutes. I started feeling a little bit overwhelmed because I started getting a lot of emails coming in for like personal stuff, um, for like YouTube and whatnot. So I think I'm just gonna answer that while I take my lunch break and then get back to work. I don't know, there's just a lot coming in today and it's only Wednesday, but the good news when it's only Wednesday is you still have more days to finish your work. But I don't know, I'm just trying to stay calm. I've been pretty good. I'm not really feeling any anxiety today, which is phenomenal. So hopefully we just keep going on that track. And yeah, it's raining. So I don't know if I'm gonna take my afternoon walk. Um, I'm supposed to be doing like three a day or two a day at least to try and mimic life with a dog. But when there's actually no dog, it's hard to get motivated. And the other thing is, I just can't stop staring at pictures of her because I miss her already and I want her so badly and the 23rd cannot come fast enough. So that's my piece and I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, so it's evening time now. The work day is done. This was a long one and I thought I would just include a little current favorites segment. Um, I don't think I've ever done like a current favorites video so please let me know if you like this but I've been trying out a lot of new products since I've been home for the last two months and I thought it would be fun to just share them with you guys. So yeah let me know if you like this segment and I'm just gonna do kind of like a chit chat life update as we go. 
So today was a tiring day. I worked till like eight o'clock um, and I'm just exhausted. I have been feeling lately just kind of sick of the routine. Um, we're in lockdown again, um, actually in Quebec, where I'm not in Quebec right now, but I will be in two weeks. Um, there's even a curfew, so you're not allowed out of the house past 8 p.m. So things are really serious, things are really strict. Um, and obviously we have to respect the rules, but I'm just starting to feel very like stir crazy and cooped up. Um, and it's been hard. So today, like after work, I was just like, oh my God, like I'm so over this. Like I'm just so over being in my room. I've also been in Ottawa for almost two months now, which is a long time to be away from home. So I'm feeling a bit weird, but I'm just trying my best to stay positive and I don't know this week I definitely feel a lot better and I really think it's from implementing the yoga and the mindfulness um, is helping a lot so um, two things I know I said we're gonna get into the products but I just have a few things to say um, so today I just want to share this kind of win with you guys I started feeling really overwhelmed in the middle of the afternoon I had this huge spreadsheet that I needed to work on and I just sat there staring at it and I was like oh my god how am I gonna do this um, and I'm really proud of myself before I allowed myself to like retreat or freeze um, Get caught up in anxiety and sometimes like I look at something I'm like I don't want to do this and I go and I scroll on TikTok and I waste like 30 minutes um, I'm sure we've all been there. So rather this time what I did was I said Zoe don't freak out Find one that you know how to do it doesn't matter if it's in order Just start with one that you know how to do and get the ball rolling and that helped so much and I was able to get most of it done I'll finish it tomorrow, but yeah, that was a win. The other thing I did was at the very end of the day, I started just getting so tired, so fed up, and I was just like, negative thoughts were like starting to spiral in my head, just like, oh my, just, you know, negative self-talk. Um, we don't need to get into the details, but what I did was I took out my journal and I just journaled for five minutes and I felt so much better. I was able to just finish the date strong and then when work was done, work was done, and I went downstairs and had dinner and watched RuPaul's Drag Race great so now yeah anyway I just wanted to share that with you guys in case those little tricks can be helpful because I know we are all so similar and we all feel such similar things throughout the workday and yeah it's not easy being in lockdown it sucks <laughs> so let me share with you guys some of my favorite products that I've been using uh, while I've been at home and yeah let's jump into it okay the first thing <laughs> this is so OG youtuber vibes like i it's been so long since i've sat down and been like this product da, da, da. um but i do like products i try not to be too like materialistic and i never want my channel to be like constantly throwing products and throwing like spending at you guys um so take everything i say with you know some fun know that you don't need everything but these are just some things i'm currently enjoying cool okay so I've been using this Foreo cleanser now for about two weeks. Um, I love it. I was unsure about this, if it was going to be a gimmick or not, but it is amazing. Your face feels so clean after it basically like hums and cleans your face. It's got these little silicone bristles and it's got like a stronger side on the other side. It will buzz when it's time to change sections on your face. So it's like an electric toothbrush for your face. And my skin was being so dry um, for like the entire month of December. My skin was not good. Then I remembered that I had this, tried it out, and my skin was feeling bright and illuminated again. So that is awesome. That's from Foreo. Um, I think you can get these on their website as well as on Sephora. I will link it down below for you guys. But really enjoying that. The next two things I have are thanks to my friend Mary. You guys know I talk about Mary all the time, but she came through and saved my life because I did not bring enough skincare products home with me. Um, and like I said, my face was freaking out. So she dropped off a little care package and the two favorite things that she dropped off um, that she let me borrow are this face wash from The Ordinary. This is the Squalane Cleanser um, and makeup remover, I guess. Um, and Anyway, this has just been making my face feel really clean. Use it with the Foreo, it's very good, and I know The Ordinary is very affordable. The next thing is this Coco Kind Chia Facial Oil. Oh my god. It is making me feel... I thought I heard something. 
it is making my face so glowy so hydrated somebody even commented on a video saying that my makeup looked good and i was barely wearing makeup so i was like yes this oil is doing the trick so i'll see if i can find a link for this but it is yeah it says omega-3 concentrate for a youthful glow we'll never say no to that but it's making me feel so smooth and hydrated we love okay staying on the skincare makeup um bandwagon trend i have two new products here um, these were sent to me to try out for a new brand called merit i barely wear makeup anymore pretty much all i wear is eyebrows and mascara um, and they sent me the full line which i haven't actually tried all of the products yet but i am obsessed with these two products i have the mascara here and then i have the eyebrow pencil and i really really like this brand it actually just launched on the 12th of January, so it's very new. I do have a link for you guys if you want to check it out. It's very minimal um, and there's focuses more on like natural beauty, which I can certainly get behind. And I just feel like my lashes are looking good. My eyebrows look good. I like how they feel when I'm applying them. I like the packaging. Um, and I like how easily it washes off. That is a big thing for me when I'm wearing makeup. I don't want you know you put mascara on you've got mascara under your eyes for like three days after this just comes off with soap and water you don't even need makeup remover so i love it merit thank you for sending me this that's really nice of you and i genuinely love it so i'll link that down below um, if you guys are looking for some new makeup to try out those are my basics and i have been getting questions about my makeup recently which is cool because that makes me feel like i look nice and that is positive reinforcement and we love that okay Another little fun PR thing that I got in the mail. Let me know if you guys like it when I show you this stuff. I got some earrings from Majuri. It came with a little card. Um, anyways, I got these croissant earrings. They are little cuffs. Um, I didn't wear them today because I actually want to put them in where this hoop is and I need help taking this hoop out. Um, but actually all of my jewelry is from Majuri. These two earrings, my necklace, and my croissant ring that I wear most days. Um, I don't have it on right now because it got bent. Um, I have to take it to the jewelry store. But yeah, these match my croissant ring, which is so exciting. So I was really excited when they wanted to send me this. Thank you, Majuri. Um, but they're a Canadian affordable jewelry blend. Blend jewelry brand and i really really like them so it is such an honor to receive pr from them okay speaking of canadian brands i have a package from another brand that i love nyx so this is ironic because in my last vlog i talked about getting my period and how i didn't have any supplies and this week my period's over but my supplies came in the mail so I love to use products for my period that are more eco-friendly, sustainable, and they're also ending up being healthier for you because we don't like chemicals, we don't like that stuff. So um, I tried NYX, uh, oh my gosh, this was about a year ago now. I bought my first pairs of NYX underwear. They are like period underwear um, where they like absorb your flow. They used to just have ones that were like a liner or one tampon's worth of absorbency, but now they have the super absorbent um, so I'm so excited to try these. So this is the super absorbent thong. This one says it holds the equivalent of six regular tampons. So you can pretty much wear this all day. That is so cool. Now I got this same, but this is in a cheeky cut and this one holds eight regular tampons. So on a heavy flow day, like you are more than covered. And the thing I am most excited for are these shorts. These are called the dream short and it says, they absorb up to three tampons worth of liquid so these are like little boy shorts i'll actually show them to you um that you can wear while you're sleeping i really like sleeping in like shorts or boxers like this um especially when i'm on my period because you just feel like you're contained so i am so excited for these i already know that i love nyx products so i know i'm gonna love these and yeah i just think they're awesome it has like what looks kind of like a pad i don't know if you guys can see on the bottom um so that's really cool so you can definitely use these to like feel more confident i feel like when you're sleeping um when you're on your period and sometimes you know you guys know how it is i don't even need to describe but anyway so that's really cool i'm excited to 
try this stuff out from NYX and support another Canadian brand. Okay, cool. Switching gears, I'm going to show you guys this book that I am reading. This is called Digital Minimalism. A friend lent it to me because I deleted Instagram. So my friend Gracie, um, she called me and she was like, I deactivated my Instagram. I don't even know if I'm ever going to get it back. And I was like, I should do that. But I didn't deactivate it because I need it to like communicate with you guys and you know, it's kind of part of my job. Um, but I did delete it. I just deleted the app from my phone. I think this is something I'm going to do like once a month. Like I need to figure out what my relationship with Instagram is going to be because currently it's very toxic. Um, but this book is all about helping you identify how you want to use technology in your life in a way that actually suits you rather than harms you. Um, so I'm excited to keep reading this and continue my journey of just reducing the amount of like apps and time that I spend on my phone. I don't even have that many social media apps. I just spend so much time on Instagram. So yeah, it's very bad um, and I'm excited to keep reducing that. So if you've sent me a DM and I haven't answered, <laughs> that's why I don't have it on my phone, um, but I will have it back in a few weeks and I'll keep you guys posted on, you know, how often I keep it on and off my phone um, and let me know if that interests you. Okay, you guys, the very last thing I have to show you is so exciting. I finally got a mood light. So this is a sun replication light for seasonal affective disorder, which is when you have lower energy, even depression um, in the winter. Now, I've not been diagnosed with SAD or SAD, but I definitely feel the effects. Um, I have such a hard time waking up in the morning. I feel tired and lethargic all day, um, and my mood has been very, very low pretty much all winter. So this was so nice. This was a Christmas gift from my mom, um, and I think it's just the best gift ever. So practical. Um, and I really think it's going to change things for the better for me. She has a lamp and she swears by it. She's had it for many years. So my plan is to set this up and use it in the morning. I'm really hoping it will help me wake up earlier because right now my alarm goes off at like 6 or 6 30 7 i look outside and it's dark and i go back to bed so what i want to do is as soon as i wake up i turn this light on and just sit my morning tea in bed maybe read my book um, and do my lamp therapy to help me start the day earlier and just hopefully it will boost my mood so obviously i'll keep you guys posted and you guys will see in my vlog tomorrow morning of me trying it out for the first time but i'm really excited for this so you guys that is my current favorites segment like i said let me know if you enjoy that i'll have everything i talked about linked down below um the only thing that would be an affiliate link is the merit products so thank you to merit for providing me with that link but otherwise you guys know that everything is always my genuine opinion and anyway i'm not getting anything if you buy it so save your money don't save your money it's up to you and that's it so i'll talk to you guys tomorrow morning as we complete um, our morning routine once again. So good night. Talk to you then. I am outside walking my dog. It's an icy morning, but it feels so good to be outside. I just wish I had my little girl with me, but uh, in two weeks, that'll be that. So I'm just doing a quick walk this morning because I need to go home and do my yoga before I start the day. So my goal today is to get outside midday for a longer walk, and I really hope it's gonna help with that slump that I was talking about yesterday. So that's gonna be the goal for today.
Hey guys, so the day is done. I am so happy. Today was such a good day. I actually think this was one of the best days I've had in a really long time. Like I didn't feel any anxiety at all today, which is a rare thing for me to say. I didn't get too overwhelmed, didn't feel too stressed, and I just genuinely felt happy pretty much all day. Um, so I think this is a result of the new morning routine is really helping a lot. I was also very focused today and was able to get a lot done. I also had a lot of calls today, which I think helped um, just like hearing other people's voices makes you feel less alone throughout the day. It makes time pass faster. So I don't know. I'm gonna just be grateful for it. Part of my mind is like, but you don't have calls every day. So that means that every day that you don't have a call is gonna be a terrible day. We just gotta relax um, and just be grateful for the good day today. Tomorrow's Friday, so I'm happy about that as well. And just, yeah, this was a good week. So I'm really happy that I implemented this new morning routine with the 30 day challenge. So I can't recommend it enough for you guys to try and implement that as well. This morning I woke up with my sun lamp. It was a bit of a shock because it's like such a bright light first thing in the morning. So I definitely need to get used to that. And I had some fun setting it up last night. Um, I was on the phone, with, I was on FaceTime with my friend Gracie um, and I was just like setting up the sun lamp. Well, there, yeah, how's the Instagram cleanse? Shit. Okay, wait, let me just hold up my lamp to finish my filming clip. and put it up on my bedside table at my mom's. So that'll be coming back to Montreal with me and hopefully makes a big difference in my mood. Um, maybe that's part of what helped today. So all good stuff there. At lunch, I went out for a walk with my mom. We went to the grocery store, which was really nice just to get out of the house. So I accomplished my goal of two walks today, which feels awesome and definitely helped a lot. Something that my mom and I were talking about today and I wanted to share it with you guys kind of as I wrap up the vlog is um, we were talking about the food bank and I'm not gonna lie, I haven't given that much thought to the food bank uh, recently. I feel like it's the kind of thing you stop thinking about um, after elementary school when they make you do the canned food drives. But she was talking with her work colleagues and they were saying that the food bank is in uh, kind of a state of desperation because more people than ever are relying on the food bank right now and their supply chain has been disrupted obviously because of COVID. So when she told me that, that just tugged so much on my heartstrings thinking about um, people going hungry and it's not, you know, it's it could be anyone, it could happen to anyone. Um, and thinking about the families and the little kids. So her and I joined together and we actually made a donation this afternoon to the Ottawa Food Bank. Um, we made a cash donation because they're able to buy food, you know, at cost. So your money's going directly to a good cause. And I just wanted to share that with you guys in case any of you guys are in a position um, where you feel like you would like to donate. I think it's an amazing cause. Um, we didn't give a huge amount. We gave $50, but that definitely can go a long way for, you know, the people who are in need right now. So I talked about this in my last video, but I've just been trying to think a lot about society in general. This is a really hard time for our society, you know, with everything that's going on, being back in lockdown. Um, and it's easy to turn inwards and focus on the things that are not going well in your own life But as a collective we're all struggling right now So, you know, I think just being grateful for the things we have and giving back whenever possible is a good thing Okay, you guys, I think that is all I have to say um, Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I am so excited to get my dog. It is unbelievable so i don't know if i'll even be able to vlog next week because like i don't even want to vlog until she's here um but you guys might see a video from me or you might see one later when we get her but either way i want to thank you all so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it uh let me know your thoughts down below and i'll talk to you all in my next video bye, bye.